Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome. This video is regarding um, the pre-myeloma uh, cancer coaching program. First, my definition of pre-multiple myeloma is one of three different diagnoses, single bone plasma cytoma, MGUS, monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, say that five times real fast, or SMM, smoldering multiple myeloma. I was diagnosed in, um, in early 94 with a single bone plasma cytoma. Uh, I had a single bone plasma cytoma in my fifth cervical vertebrae. I had surgery uh, and the uh, uh, lesion was removed, and I underwent radiation. I keep pointing to those two little black marks. Those are, uh, that's a radiation tattoo, of which I'm very proud of. In any case, so um, the single greatest problem, in my humble opinion, is that oncology does not consider pre-myeloma to be cancer, and therefore offers uh, no therapies for it. Therefore, um, I, I've been talking to, I've talked to patients who will say, my oncologist said that I simply should wait for the other shoe to drop. Personally, philosophically, I have a very difficult time with that notion. I've worked with myeloma, pre-myeloma patients for years who have managed to either lower uh, some of their diagnostic uh, levels. Um, an example would be um, Mort. Mort's a great guy, old guy, didn't want to advance to full-blown multiple myeloma, had MGUS. And in fact, he didn't want chemo. He didn't want anything. He just wanted non-toxic therapy to stay to keep his pre-myeloma, pre-myeloma. So his M spike was I don't know, 1.2, and with the premyeloma program, um, supplements, nutrition, a little bit of exercise, um, et cetera, he was able to reduce his premyeloma. Uh, in, in this case, his M spike, let's say, I think it was from 1.2 to 0.2, uh, and he was ecstatic. No chemotherapy, no toxic therapies whatsoever. Mort was thrilled. Um, so, another famous pre-myeloma patient, if you uh, search for Margaret's Corner, uh, Margaret is an American expat living in Florence, Italy, and has been writing about um, smoldering multiple myeloma for years. I think, I believe she has remained in a pre-myeloma state for going on 18 years now. Many different non-toxic therapies, evidence-based. She writes just similarly to, to what I do, curcumin, uh, black seed oil. Um, those therapies that help us, in my case, stay in, in remission, in my case, in Margaret's case, stay pre-myeloma. So you as the patient, you've been diagnosed with a pre-myeloma state, either MGUS, SMM, or single bone plasma cytoma, and you want to stay that way as long as possible. Last little important thing. If, if, if you do progress, which some patients do, to a full-blown multiple myeloma, all of your therapies count as a form of prehabilitation. Studies show you should respond to induction therapy as a full-blown myeloma patient better with, uh, pre with, with induction, excuse me, with um, prehabilitation. So your exercise, all of your pre-myeloma therapies will help you. Lastly, almost as important, if you do advance, you will be early stage myeloma. The prognosis for early stage these days is upwards of 10, 12, 15 years, all this is great. So start now, start with therapy, start with nutrition, 
you will be better off. If you have any questions, scroll down the page, send me a question, send me a comment. I will reply to you ASAP. Hope all is well. Hope to talk to you soon. Be well.